Hey guys, it's your girl Jackie O, aka Little Pumpkin Pie 05. This look is sculpted, sexy, she's ancient Egyptian, and this hair dog. Like, what else is there to say about this hair? RPG show hooked me up. I wanted to do this makeup tutorial because really, it's the way that I feel when I'm wearing this wig. This look is inspired by this wig, okay? This is what I think I look like when I'm wearing this wig, basically. So I hope you guys enjoy the look and let's get started. I wanted to prep my eyes first, so I used the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in Peach and I applied that under the eyes. This literally is just kind of like a color correcting pick me up. It just instantly highlights and corrects any dullness that may appear underneath the eye. So I just applied a little bit of that. I wanted a kind of glowy, dewy look with the foundation and the overall look. So what I did was I took my Makeup Forever HD foundation, mixed that in with a little bit of my Josie Marin Argon Illuminizer, swirled that in together, and I applied that all over my face. I then set that foundation with a little bit of my Youngblood High Definition Finishing Powder. I only applied this powder pretty much on the center of my face, like the shiny parts. Then I concealed. I used my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. I really wanted full coverage for this look, so I always am inclined to grab my good old fashioned Kevin Aquan. Shade I use is number 13. Then I set all of that with some Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder. And that's gonna just make sure that we don't get any creasing. And that's just gonna make sure basically that we don't get any creasing, as you guys know. And if you don't know, now I'm telling you why. The next thing I did was I filled in my brows. I used the Stud Brow Crayon from MAC to shape my brows. And then I filled them in with my Zeba Brow Pencil in dark brown, just so that you get a more natural looking brow. I went for a more precise and sculpted brow, so I took a little bit of that concealer and just shaped it a little bit. Next, we're going to get into this eyeliner situation, honey. One of my favorite liquid liners is from Inglot. This is their gel liner. It's very, very creamy. Now this look, if, if you're a beginner at liquid liner, this probably will not be the look for you. But if you consider yourself kind of somewhat intermediate advanced, then definitely go for it. I feel like the Inglot gel liner just makes it so much easier. It glides on so well and it's really, really creamy and it's very pigmented. So on top of that, I took my Magnolia Makeup Pigment, this is Cathedral, just because I wanted to add some sparkle and shine, and it's just like, literally like black dust with gold glitter in it. It's really pretty. And I'm just popping that on top of where we applied the liner. Then I applied mascara. My Benefit They're Real, and then I used Dior Show from Dior, obviously. These are the lashes I'm going to be using today. I wanted, again, I mean, I'm really role playing today, so I figured, why not? Let's add lashes. These are number 104s. Then I'm gonna powder. I used my Black Up Loose Finishing Powder, and I applied that pretty much all over the face. Yeah, pretty much all over the face for some extra added coverage. I'm going to be taking one of Makeup Geek's pigments. This one is Afterglow, such a beautiful highlight color. I love Afterglow. And I'm applying this on the high points of my cheekbones, and then I dabbed that on the inner corners of my eyes. But notice where I'm placing it above where we applied the liner. Then I applied bronzer all over pretty much the receding parts of my face. So this is the CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer. This is pretty much what I always bronze with. Also a little tip, the fluffier the brush that you use, the more diffused your contour or your bronze look is going to be. If you use a angled brush or like a blush brush that's tighter and more dense, it's going to look heavier, more sculpted. Then I used Black Up Number no. 9 blush and I applied that on my cheeks. Then I added a little bit of Fresh Brew lipstick from MAC, just enough to put some color on my lips. I used just a bit of MAC Chestnut Lip Liner just to kind of add some dimension back to my lips because sometimes when you put foundation on, they kind of like blah, they get lost and drown. So add a little bit of shape back in. Use a natural toned lip pencil. And that pretty much completes the look. 